Here in South Carolina, four islands off the coast remain closed right now, but all county evacuation orders have been lifted. Uh, Governor Nikki Haley flew over parts of the state today to begin surveying the damage. Our Robert Kittle there after she landed and got an update. He's standing by live at the State Emergency Operations Center where he's been for days now. So, so Robert, what did the governor see? <laughs> Well, Gordon, she flew over Florence and Marion counties, and she saw a lot of flooding there and a lot of homes and vehicles either damaged or destroyed. And the flooding there is expected to get even worse. This Air 7 video was from the Charleston area, showing damage and flooding there. Hilton Head, Fripp, Hunting, and Harbor Islands remain closed and are not accessible. Governor Haley flew over Florence and Marion counties, where there's flooding as bad as last year's record flood. The town of Nichols, um, if you may have heard, we had 150 people in town hall on the third floor waiting for help and evacuation. And so um, we've had fantastic crews from DNR and our um, law enforcement as well as National Guard who have really gone in there and they've just been doing rescues all day and will continue to do that. The state law enforcement division is also securing that area. We will also have... Uh, patrols that will be in those rivers at night with aerial assets that will be there when folks have evacuated to try to keep uh, individuals from coming in and looting. And the flooding is expected to get worse because rivers in that area have not crested yet. Seven dams have failed statewide. We do have two uh, dams that are at risk for failure that we have crews on site for and working with um, local emergency managers. The Baxley 501 pond in Marion County, this is a significant hazard dam. Um, and again, we're just continuing to monitor the status of that one, as well as Lake Oakdale in Florence County, also a significant hazard dam. More than 470,000 people are without power statewide. 361 roads and 29 bridges are still closed. Governor Haley says we're still dealing with challenges, but every day is getting better, and she asked for patience for people who can't get home yet. Live in Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 News. And Robert Haley did mention the National Guard playing a big role. What other type of federal help can we expect at this point? Well, she did ask this morning from the president for him to sign an expedited, ma expedited major disaster declaration that will help the state with getting, uh, doing debris cleanup and also with security. All right, that's our Robert Kittle live again in the Emergency Operations Center, staying on top of it. Robert, thank you. In 